everybody and welcome to Tarot by Isabella. I hope you're all doing great and I'm very happy to see you here. Today's video will be a prediction video for the country of the Netherlands. And uh, this prediction video will be done by crystal ball, tarot cards and oracle cards. And uh, as many of you know, there have been a lot of turbulence in the Netherlands especially lately uh, with the farmers protests where their governments want to take away over 3000 farmers land and uh, stop uh, stop them from cultivating and having livestock and so on due to carbon emission but no one mentioned that carbon dioxide is exactly what the plants need to grow. It's their air. We need the oxygen from the plants and the plants need the carbon dioxide. And taking away carbon dioxide is not good for any plant life on earth. And uh, the Netherlands are big producers of food, uh, vegetables, meat, eggs, milk and so on and close down 3,000 farmers for not producing anything of this. Uh, that's not good at all. So uh, one can understand why there are big protests and we'll see if we can get some information what is going on in the Netherlands and around the farmers' protest also, and see what we can find uh, in this crystal ball and the tarot cards. And for those who are new to this channel, uh, especially with readings with crystal ball, I will just make a short explanation. Uh, the crystal ball I'm going to use is a quartz crystal ball, and quartz crystals are very good conductors of energy and they catch the energy that is there in the universe and transmit it to me, the receiver. And I can uh, receive this information like something I hear, something I see, smell, feel or touch. Whatever information comes, I will tell you. And about time, yes, I'm going to look forward for about three months from the middle of December to the middle of March but in any prediction doesn't matter if it's with card or crystal ball it's very difficult to predict exactly the time um, when medium gets a vision we get a whole vision normally we don't get a timestamp on it uh, it's more the likely outcome of a certain situation uh, but I will still keep a uh, frame about three months and keep in mind that uh, things I say may occur later but if I see something very clearly it's a big big possibility that it can occur uh, quicker than three months but also a little bit later. Uh, but before we begin uh, with the Netherlands I need to concentrate on my crystal ball for a few moments and then we can start. So just give me a few moments and we'll begin soon. Just need my glasses for a few moments and then we'll see if we can find something in this crystal ball. Okay. The Netherlands. Mm. Uh, I see the Dutch people here. 
quite tired. They're tired of everything. They're tired of the country, they're tired of the government, they're tired of the uh, restrictions, the um, pandemic, the rules. Uh, every rule that comes out, one is crazier than the other, with no logic behind them. And people are questioning, they are questioning a lot. And uh, underground movements are starting to rise in the Netherlands. Uh, and I see flyers, I see people starting to organize themselves. Uh, and big protests are coming. The people understand uh, their farmers' uh, concern. And almost everyone knows who, someone who knows a farmer, if they don't know them personally. And they know what hard work it is to be a farmer. You don't have one single day off in a week and you work from early morning to late evening. And that is to provide food for the people. Um, more and more people will stand behind the farmers. Uh, the government will try to, there is a big protest uh, organizing with farmers and um, uh, people that are not farmers. And the government will try to strike down at this protest. Uh, but I see normal people, uh, civilians, standing around and, tr and protecting them. And they don't want the government and the thugs will not want to have like a bloodbath since Netherlands is um, has a history of being a very open, very friendly, um, very tolerant nation. And the government doing what they're doing against their own people will not be looked uh, down on uh, friendly from, from any state. And um, this rule, um, that, oh, that they want to take away the farmer's land. Uh, I see that paper thrown into pieces. So that plan will be um, not completed. And the people will celebrate that. But it will not come easy because I see um, big protests coming in and that is quite soon. And they are ongoing protests all the time. They never stop protesting. But this is something bigger that will be organized. If you are about to lose everything you have, then you have nothing to lose if you fight back. Um, symbolically, uh, I see people in the um, ruling position uh, like demons in flesh, flesh, flesh suits. It's horrible. They are not. They're not like human souls anymore. Um, there will be some aid from Belgium and from Germany. So it seems like farmers both from Belgium and Germany will join forces with uh, the Dutch farmers. Um, they will tr try to pass on some new mandates regarding this.
but I see people breaking that syringe and say no more. There will be quite an un, uh, un, unrest, a lot of unrest in the Netherlands for the following weeks, following months. Um, even it, if it's winter and it's cold, um, they will not stop protesting. It will be like a fight for their lives. Um, I see um, a big port, could be Rotterdam, uh, with ships and containers, and there will be like uh, raids on those containers. They are looking for uh, for some dangerous, some very un illegal things in those containers. And they are like SWAT teams with, you know, masks and guns and so on, raiding. And I see a um, lot of people with hands behind their head, like arrested from that area. Uh, and I also see ambulances and um, 911 personnel, medical personnel. Uh, coming to help in, in that situation. And people want justice, people want uh, life um, to continue as it was before all this nightmare pandemic uh, situation. There are a lot of, lot of people that are awake in the Netherlands. And as I said, they are organizing. Um, the government have still still control over the information, uh, the mainstream. Uh, but it will not be for long. Symbolically, I see like a reporter in the news talking blah 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 their narrative. And then suddenly, someone comes in, pushes that reporter or journalist away, and a real reporter, a real journalist, sits in his in that person's place, and will say the real news, what is really going on. And that will shock people. Outside Amsterdam, uh, there will be like a uh, big um, gathering of uh, military personnel. And there are not only Dutch military, there are military from different countries. Uh, almost like they will put up some tents and they are yeah, outside on like, big fields and they are like planning things there. During the following weeks, probably this following weeks, I see a lot of uh, military aircraft over the Netherlands, more than uh, normal. And people will start ask questions. Um, 
It's like a big dark cloud over the Netherlands at the moment. Like a smog. But this cloud uh, will not be there forever. It will pass away in the future. If it's not this year, no, next year, next year, at the end of the next year, things gonna seem much, much, much clearer. Uh, and I see like many farmers just finally the fight is over. We will keep our land, we will keep our animals. The DS want to create food shortage, want to create shortage, want to really, you know, take the grip over humanity. And we people, we must wake up, we cannot allow this. There is a little bit warning. People have to, especially in, in some big city here, uh, watch out because it could be some, especially around uh, festive times, Christmas or, uh, yeah, it's still cold outside. Some kind of t terrorist attack just to take the focus out of uh, what is really going on to that attack and blame it on on something or someone mm, just to create chaos and uh, diversion in the society people should look around maybe not um, you know, in big crowds, especially when it's uh, like shopping or music or something, you know, be a little bit careful what what happens around them. But as one says, uh, after rain comes sunshine, and this is also for Holland, uh, for the Netherlands. Now we have rain time, and it's cloudy and thunder, but that will pass away, so sun will shine again on the Netherlands. I see that dark cloud evaporate, and then the sun can shine, and the people can get happy again. And more and more people will say no EU, no NATO, we don't want to, enough is enough. Since we joined, it has only only brought a lot of problems for us. In the future, I don't know exactly the time, um, the e Euro will disappear from the Netherlands and they will have some other currency. Mm. About this military uh, if if they go in, it will be just for a very short time. It will be 
shorter time in the Netherlands than in other countries. Maybe a couple of days and then it's over. Uh, and in Hague, they will start to prepare uh, for new tribunals. Mm. And they're like already uh, thinking about that or preparing it. And these tribunals will be for crimes against humanity. Ah, um, that's what, what I could see in the crystal ball. Let's take some cards on the Netherlands. And uh, before I take that card, those cards, I need to shuffle them a little bit. And ask the powers, the forces to be with us to see if we can get some good information for the Netherlands. There could be some problem with a train, uh, and I see the train wrecks uh, manipulated, so the train goes out of the wrecks, and it's like a sabotage. It, they will find out eventually that it is a sabotage. Uh, I don't see it like a very big accident with a lot of people. Somebody could get hurt, yes, of course it's... Uh, but I don't see the train um, destroyed and, you know, big, uh, yeah, big, big, big accident. But, you know, they will have, like, a guardian angel who will somehow uh, help this train not to make uh, a, a very big um, disaster could be much much worse they will have luck in that uh, in that accident yeah the Netherlands let's take some cards on the Netherlands And I'm gonna need some dice also. Um, here are my dice, and there, these are special dice with pictures and words and symbols on them. And they give a little extra punch to the reading. Let's see. Here we have new love, a moon with the moon faces, uh, assistance, carrot, rare and travel. I have the card of justice here, and some, as I said, some kind of justice, some kind of tribunals are planned to be held in uh, the Netherlands, and this will be welcomed by the people. They will really be assisting in this. Uh, and the situation in the Netherlands will come under control. Uh, some scandals will go public, and it's about a lot of money that have been um, manip manipulated, that have been put in wrong pockets, bribe money. Mm. 
and those who have uh, corrupted this money, they will try to escape, but they will not be able to. Mm. Here are the people of, of the Netherlands. They will stand together and uh, they will not give in for uh, draconic rules and dictatorship. They, they have lived through uh, World War One and World War Two, and uh, they had, had underground, underground resistance then and they are not afraid to do it again. A lot of people are so tired. Mm. And justice will be made on the devil. He will not be able to rule anymore. I'm going to take some more cards on the Netherlands. If there is more information. To be said. The Netherlands. Uh, someone will try to sabotage a dam, uh, something that holds away the water from flowing in over the country. And they will catch that, uh, that or those persons before they can blow this dam or this, yeah, into pieces. Still, it looks symbolically here like uh, the Netherlands will have some kind of guardian angel, the whole country, and that will not allow it to go under. Some additional information on the Netherlands. Let's see. People are suffering in the Netherlands. Poverty have rise, and, and for those who really are in need, it's difficult to uh, get along with all the costs and price rise and everything. Mm. Let go of the control issue. Yeah. And also in the Netherlands, uh, people will wake up and there will also be change in the news. As I said, real news is going to be shown. And I see also here uh, children, they're going to find a lot of children or they're going to blow up. Um, big rings of um, child yeah, sensor and um, it's going to be quite shaky. The final cards here, I have celebration, I have the sun and the power comes back to the people. So after this turbulent time, it's like the country gonna revive again and the positive energy returns the clouds 
are blown away so the sun can shine on the Netherlands. Um, by springtime, and we're yeah, springtime people are quite awake. Many people that have been asleep will not be able to sleep anymore, and they will be awake, and they will also demand answers and change. And some kind of tribunal are pre is preparing in in the hog. Uh, I get a strong feeling that tribunals will be divided in different areas. Hog could be one, Nuremberg could be another place, and and so on. So in different hotspots around the planet, it will be held uh, tribunals. But these tribunals is about almost the same thing. So not all criminals will be placed in one city or in one place, but they will be divided between different areas on the planet. Yeah. Now I'm going to take some last cards for the Netherlands. And see what they have to say. Some last words about the Netherlands. The Dutch people like to party, yeah. When all this is gonna be over, uh, I see people dancing on the street, uh, you know, like in a line and um, and happy and paint on their face and yeah, really, really big crazy party. Some last words for the Netherlands. I just need to take some extra cards here. Finances and career, reverence, kindness and consideration. And it will be some kind of rebirth for the entire country. Uh, even maybe not in this following three months, but that is the end line. Uh, the hurt, the pain, uh, the suffering, the um, many people that have been injured by this and uh, other kind of treatments. Uh, the hurt and the loss, the hurt the loss of those people will continue to hurt and it will take time to heal. Uh, but as a country in whole, uh, it looks like there are some very positive changes coming. Uh, we all want changes to be happening tomorrow, over tomorrow, or maybe the week before. Um, but this is something that comes gradually. Yeah. And the Dutch people are very gentle people, very friendly people, but when they get angry, don't mess with them. And they will get very angry. Mm. 
and they have more strength than they thought they had. And justice will be made. Balance will be returned. And also in um, the Netherlands we have the star. So it will be some some ex some uh, extraterrestrial activities uh, more than usual and people will film it and will post it and they will see strange object in the sky and this is not always CGI or uh, satellites or weather balloons it's real unexplicable uh, UFO sightings probably even a UFO landing mm -hmm. Um, as final words, the people will continue to fight back and more and more people will join them, even if the, this very important protest so, that the farmers have is um, totally ignored in the news all around the world, uh, people still know about it and it will be known because more and more people will join, join this protest and will not allow their farmers to go bankrupt and to lose their lands. Even if uh, the Netherlands is not a big country, um, the heart of the Dutch people is so much bigger and they will stick together and they will help each other to um, overcome this um, this period of time. And uh, new government, totally new government. Well, that was my uh, reading for the Netherlands. And if you liked what you have seen and heard, Please don't forget to press like button, share button, make a comment and subscription button. And uh, I just got a thought here. Uh, when I make a prediction video for country, I am not living there and it's difficult to maybe find some true news of what is really going on in that country. And I have a suggestion. For example, if things that I have said here uh, would happen and you have seen this prediction, please, could be very nice for other people also to see if you comment, some, put something in the comment section and uh, this happened and so on and so on. It, it could be uplifting also for others to see that there are changes coming in. Well, to all you lovely and warm-hearted Dutch people, wish you all the best, keep on fighting, be strong, and uh, you will soon see an end of this tunnel, and light will shine again over your country. All the best for you, and thank you for watching. Bye-bye.